Hello everybody! I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and I meant to hit A, not B. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I've just realized... I should place my webcam a little more over there. The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yep, late night around 10pm. He died outside in the cold. Pretty sad way to go if you ask me, pal. Hmm, it was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. Right about where you're standing now. Ah! <laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? Was killed blo by a blow to the noggin, pal. I think I took one myself there. Yeep! It's pretty clear cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly. But. But. There's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Ha! Huh, there always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. What was this one thing that just didn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier? Footprints, pal. Footprints. Footprints? Look at this picture of the crime scene. What's this? This wooden box under the body. No clue, pal. Some forensic experts took it back and are examining it now. And, and? What is so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa, calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. There are his... That's right, pal. The problem is... Uh, the killer's footprints aren't there. Bingo. Where did the killer come from? And where did the killer run off to? Obviously, there's no way the com killer committed this crime while flying. A flying culprit. That's why you had your boys arrest, uh, Maximilian, ain't it? Th there's no way! Flying is impossible! That's right, flying is impossible. Absolutely impossible. <laughs> What's with the hollow laugh, pal? You did it kind of quickly, too. I, I meant nothing by it, pal. Uh, better stated, it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. Like how he does his magic. But we can also check out the big top first. Hmm. 28th, very big circus big top. Circus stage sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Well, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults! I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Grrr. Huh? Nick? Wasn't me. Grrr. T -t 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 tiger <laughs> He's coming this way! <laughs> and then Phoenix died. The end. <laughs> Nick, you're too young to die! Nick! Stay, stay, heal! Grrr. I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. Nick, Nick, are you okay? <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? Regent is such a cute tiger, isn't he? Uh, uh, what's the matter? You two sure are quiet. Don't what's the matter me? Nick, he almost died there. <laughs> he wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. 
This little tiger hardly ever bites people. And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? You agree, don't you? I... Guess, if you look at it that way? What do you mean you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woohoo! Your costume! Eh? It's cute! I wanna try it on! C costume You mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Uh... I guess not? Really? <laughs> You're the best! Well, the tables turned quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal tamer of the Berry Big Circus. My name's Maya Fay. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Here, here, um, here, here's my badge. You wanna see my badge? <laughs> Anyway, uh, when you put us up next to an animal tamer, I bet we really look odd. Nice to meet ya! Uh, likewise. So... Hey, Regina, what do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered! Oh, I see. Wait, what did she just say? So, the Ringmaster was your... Could've guessed that from her last name. Yep, the Ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. Why do you say you're sorry? Huh? Anyways, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10pm. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent. So she was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. Someone whose father was just murdered? She seems awfully perky. Wish she would tell us more about her dad. That's incredible that you're an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary, he's cute. Ever since Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Leon? Yes. Leon the Lion. Yeah, that makes sense. <sighs> Leon the Lion, Regent and Regina. Interesting name choices. Leon? He died? Yes, actually, he was killed. My dad killed him. What? Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. Tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. Calling it now, you murdered your father. You're the animal tamer. You love these cute animals that most people fear. So when your father killed your favorite pet lion, you got your revenge. Motive for murder. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, I'll be here all week. Anyway, uh, where were we? Oh yeah, out of conversation topics. Guess we have to head back to good old Maximilian over here. He doesn't want to talk to us further. That's okay, because I have new evidence. That's... That's the Ringmaster! 
It's a shame what happened. He was going to be like a father to me. Hmm. No dialogue about that? Well, I guess the only thing I can do is... TAKE THAT! I'm gonna unlock your secrets, Maximilian Galactica. Last night you met with the Ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such? Exactly! We reached an agreement about the salary for my six-month-old contract. That's the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary. I hate lies, and I hate liars even more! What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? You know what, I don't think the photo of the crime scene counts as that. Which means... what else can I do? Oh, I can present the photo to Regina. Hey, Regina. What about this? What can you tell me? I'm not really good at figuring out things. Uh, okay. Say, this won't do anything, right? No. Of course not. What about my badge? No. Okay. No new options with Regina. Hmm. I guess I could try and show the evidence to Gumshoe. Can't tell you about evidence we've just gathered. <laughs> I can't even show him my, uh, Magatama. Hey Gumshoe, have you seen my lawyer's badge? Come on, you flashed that badge at me so many times it doesn't work anymore. Why don't you try wearing a different badge every now and then? Well, I do have a Steel Samurai badge with me, so how about that one? I'll only wear it if Detective Gumshoe carries a Steel Samurai Police badge. Then it's a deal. I hear that Detective Gumshoe has that very badge. What? Don't look at me like that. You're making me nervous. Hmm. Okay. Well. I can't go anywhere new from the big top, right? No. Hmm. Back to the offices? Okay. Alright, we've got lots of things we have to look into. No time for slacking, let's get going. Okay. What's the matter? You seem down. Maximilian Galactica? Who would have guessed he was a country, country bumpkin? Ah, uh, I guess I can ask Maya for ideas. Hmm. Now what do we do? Still lots of things we can do. Go to the scene of the crime, talk to witnesses, gather evidence. I still... I did... Oh. Uh, investigate the crime scene. Haha. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Obviously I remembered that there's an examine button. Of course I remembered to investigate during the investigation portion of the game. Only place that the snow has been trounced upon. Murderer was sloppy, leaving those prints all over. No, no, we're the ones who left those. Investigation can be messy sometimes. Also slipped and fell in that spot. The other detectives got a good laugh and the prosecutor whipped me. Thank God there was all this snow to bring down the swelling. Great. It's you yeah, finally won an air conditioner. Huh? He didn't even buy it, got lucky and won it at a door prize at the annual Christmas party. 
I don't even get paid enough for peanut butter, let alone peanuts. Jeez. Okay then. Something... Some evidence under the tarp. Hey, the killer's behind that tarp. What? Just kidding. <laughs> okay, nothing behind the tarp. Uh, this light pole. Safety lights around the circus are kept on all night. Should have been on at the time of the murder. Strange. Strange that someone would murder someone in... Well, not broad daylight, but light nonetheless. Well, I guess I can examine around. Look, there's where Max comes out during the show! Got to admit, that was a pretty cool effect. We're planning for me to start coming out of the line during the show. That's great, Regina. Yeah, I'll ride on Regent's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. I want to try that too. I'll ride on Nick's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. Sometimes I wonder about this girl. My back can't handle it, Maya. Ah, a ladder. It's just a step ladder. What's the difference? They do the same thing, right? I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Oh, uh, okay. It's not even worth arguing with her on this one. There's some rope for the tightrope walking. But there were no tightrope walkers in the show when we saw it. Doesn't seem to be anything that can help there. Not a single clue. Hmm. Well... I investigated everything, I, I examined every screen, nothing new. I guess I'll try this, but even if I can only break the first Psylocke, it's not gonna break the others. I have presented the picture to him by itself, right? Yeah, doesn't prove anything. Didn't think so. Look at the photo of the crime scene there. It's the ringmaster. Shame what happened. He's going to be like a father to you. Oh. Guess I'll try presenting profiles. Oh. Going to be like a father to you. You call Regina your sweetie pie. So, do you intend to marry this girl and therefore you would have been the son-in-law of the victim? Ah, oh, my sweetie pie. She must be really lonely with me all cooped up in here. Actually, she was laughing and rolling around with her tiger. She is my special someone and I am her special someone. Uh-huh, very complex. Noted. And you wouldn't really care about the rest of this. But... Check there's no dialogue option. Okay, now, back to Regina, since she apparently has a relationship with the accused. It's Max! Hey, where is Max now anyways? Y you don't know? Nope. He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay, Nick and I will help him. Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. Hmm, like what? <laughs> that... 
Regina, what's the matter? What's on your mind? <laughs> I'll tell you, Maya, but just you. Uh, um, well... <laughs> what? Really? And then? Oh my, that's incredible, Regina! Come on, Nick, there's no reason to pout. Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed their love to her. P professed their love? Not only that, it was Maximilian Galactica. Wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts anyways. And then, on the exact same day, another person professed their love for her as well. What? Who was it? Someone named Trillo. Trillo? Apparently he's a tenor who sings in the circus. Hmm, haven't met him yet. Regina seems to be quite the hit with the men in the circus. She must have some sort of strange power over them. You're not kidding, two people in one day. Even I want to profess my love for her. Me too, she's so cute. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Hey, hang on, hang on, Nick, Nick. Nick, you're under arrest, Nick. 16, that isn't legal even in Tasmania where the age of consent is 17. Nick, you're under arrest. Although, to be fair, he could be talking platonically. That's perfectly natural, like, I, I just want to make some dumb jokes. Actually, hey, can you tell me more about this Trillo guy? I, man, analog sticks being dumb. Don't even have his profile. Okay, never mind. Ooh, what if I tell Max that someone else confessed to Regina? What if I just bring a love triangle into this? That'll be something. Sure. Let's go. Hey, Max, have you ever heard of a... Oh. Well. I guess I don't get to tell you about the whole love triangle. Oh my lord. I had to present her with a picture of her father. Okay. After practice was over, Dad went right back to his room. His room? Yes. That door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. How convenient. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. Wonder what happened. Ringmaster's room. Probably a good idea to check it out for myself. Thank you, Regina. Hmm. December 28th, Big Top Ringmaster's room. This was the ringmaster's room? Yep, this room belonged to the victim. Which means that this must be where Max met him last night. Now that you mention it, that is what he said. I wonder what. Hmm. That's an interesting poster. Ah, it's a poster of Max! I want it, I want it! Nick, I want it! I wanna get out of here. And that's not the poster I meant, Maya, but okay. First and foremost, let's take a look at this envelope. Ah, look at this! Max's salary is written on this piece of paper. Yikes! W what is it? I didn't know that a magician... This salary is incredible! She looks like she's about ready to pass out from shock. How much is it? How much is it? Th that much? Incredible, huh? You can say that again. This must be the paper they used to negotiate Max's salary. The ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got his raise. But this document is dated a week ago. 
So why would he have been wanting another one the day before the murder? Or the day of? That doesn't make much sense to me. Hey, I got a promo poster for Max G by, uh, investigating the walls. Lovely. Ah, I can't further check out the poster that has, uh, guys we haven't met on it. Oh. Maya said something weird. Ring Master applied his makeup. Huh. See. If these frames look the same, thank you cards for the Ringmaster donating to charity or something. Neat. Well, with that being said, I suppose now that we have some evidence to finally break one of Max's locks, I will do so in the next episode. Bye.